Hey guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit subscribe and then hit the bell too to get notified when we put out a new video. Hey guys, today we're gonna use some of our amazing ClearCast epoxy, a few colors, a couple of pizza trays, and this cheap Amazon clock kit, and we're gonna make a couple of really cool clocks. Let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna make our clocks. We're gonna make them circular because that's what's gonna be easy for now, but you can make them whatever shape you want. I'm gonna make mine circular because I have these pizza pans. These are like a buck fifty pizza pans that we got from Walmart, those like mainstay brands, and they're non-stick. That's actually gonna help us out. We're gonna use some mold release just to make it easier on ourselves anyways. These are gonna work for what we're trying to do here. So that's what we're doing. One of these discs, getting it about the height of the edge here is gonna take 16 ounces of epoxy. So that's an easy calculation for you. If you bought one of our kits, it's actually a 16 ounce kit. So done, use it all and you'd be good to go. I've got a gallon here, we'll work with a gallon. All right, gloves are on, safety glasses are on. I'm gonna grab a larger bucket, one that will get me up to the 32 ounces of graduated cylinder. And then it's just time to mix up. All right, that's side B. I always put A into B because side A is, it's like thicker. So if I put side A in first, then I'm scraping the bottom. I'm scraping the edges just to try to get it off. So it's just a little bit easier this way. I've got my, I got my two trays here. I'm doing two different designs. Very different. One's gonna be a little bit more modern, a little interesting. I'm gonna do half clear, half white. The other one, I'm just gonna go full color, as loud as possible. It'll be good. So next step is really to dose out the epoxy I've mixed up into smaller cups so I can add color and get those together. We're gonna to start with the first one. The first one, I'm gonna use opaque white. I'm gonna leave half of it clear and I'm gonna do just a little bit of dark gold on the border between. And I'm gonna use a heat gun and transition that through. Gold's mixed up, white's mixed up, clear's mixed up. All we have left to do is spray a little bit of releaser on this so it comes off the pan super easy. Pan's prepped, colors are prepped, it's time to pour. I'm gonna get my heat gun ready just because I don't wanna lose that moment. I don't wanna mix things up. So here I go. I'm gonna let that flow and then I'm gonna pour my white. Epoxy is self-leveling, so I'm kind of, kind of fighting them both right now. And then I want them to hit in the middle-ish. And it looks like we're about to do that. That's perfect. It's already spread out. It's already leveled out. All I'm gonna do now is take a little bit of this dark gold. I'm actually gonna use this stick. I'm just gonna very carefully just run it along this line here. That's all I needed, I don't need a lot. Now I'm just gonna take my heat gun. I'm actually gonna come a little bit away from it. Some of the air will release when you do this too. You can use a blow dryer for this. You don't need a heat gun, I just happen to have one. And I'm just gonna kinda slowly work this until it starts to blend with the colors a little bit. Now I'm gonna back into the white a little bit. Now I've got that gold spread out. I'm just gonna let that white kind of push into the dark gold line that I had on there before. This is fun, you get to play it around, do whatever you want. So I'm actually gonna take this stick, I'm gonna do a little bit of mixing myself, just on the bottom, because I don't want that bottom edge to look too different from everything else, so. All right, there we go, I like that. That's gonna firm up, we'll make it into a clock. After this is all dried, we have another one to do. So this is me, I'm finishing up here. The last of my colors for this crazy and fun one. I've shown you the modern one. This is gonna be the, it's gonna be the loud one. All right, now I gotta mix all these up real quick. I gotta use a different stir stick for each one because otherwise I'll end up polluting all my colors. And I don't wanna do that. All right, these are heating up pretty quickly. So I'm gonna stir these really, really fast, get them onto the tray and I'll talk through what I'm gonna do while I do that. So I'm gonna make this kind of a tie-dye-ish thing. I'm gonna pick one color for the center and I'm gonna keep making circles out from there. And then I'll take a stir stick and I'll just go to town messing it up. And don't worry too much about like, oh, there's a little bit on the edge. It'll still come off the pan. And this is gonna be thin enough, especially on those edges. 
you can easily just cut it off. No big deal. All right, I gotta call it. I gotta stop. Otherwise, I'll just keep doodling on this until it, <laughs> until it actually starts to close up on us. Now it's the waiting game. We love the waiting game. I don't, but you don't have to wait actually. All right, so we've waited overnight, which is my favorite time to wait because I get to go home. And now we get to demold these things. That was, that was a little bit too easy. I kind of, I demolded this already. So here's how it works. We got UMR on here. So this is gonna pop off really easy. These pizza pans have a little edge. All I'm gonna do is just kind of bend a little bit and that's it, it's off. So there it is. We have this kind of frosty, a little bit clear top and this opaque bottom with the white and then we mixed all that together. So those are our two clock circles, as easy as it gets. And these guys, reusable. All right, so we have these circles. How do we get them into clocks? Are we gonna make our own clock hardware from scratch? No way, Jose. We're just gonna buy some off Amazon, which is what we did here. I'll link to this in the description so you guys can find this. This whole thing was, I think, 10 bucks, and it comes with the whole mechanism that you need to make this thing work. It's really, honestly, pretty easy. I did a little bit of troubleshooting uh, before this and found out the exact bit size too, and it's a 5 16 bit. So we're gonna drill through the clock, simply screw this stuff together, add a battery, set it to the right time, and then we're done. All right, now I gotta read instructions. Make sure I don't mess this up. Done, easy. Oh, there we go. There's one, one's down. There you have it. Two working clocks, these are so cheap too. We used a total of 32 ounces of epoxy for both of these together. So 16 ounces if you want to do that, not expensive. The clock parts, 10 bucks for two, so five bucks each. A Little bit of dye and barely any time. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. We do so many videos, so many tutorials. And we're gonna keep putting them out there too. And if you want to make sure that you know when we're putting out a new video, hit the bell, get notified. It'll make it a lot easier. Until next time, guys.